Oh God! Oh man. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mike Lover, <laughs> Mike Hernandez. Uh, Phil Craft Survival, <laughs> we're out here doing some cool stuff with Rugged Radios and Tread Lightly. We had the privilege to, of rolling with some uh, good partners. Uh, Onyx Off Row was part of it. Onyx, who, who Tread else? Lightly, uh, Rugged Radios. Oh, you know who else too? Um, Quadratech. Quadratech was out yeah, there. Yeah. With their dope electric rig. Yep, there's a hybrid. Right? Yeah. If you've seen this channel before, you know Mike Hernandez is a corporate shield for Phil Craft Survival. 100%. I'm just going to put that out there. 100%. No, you guys will put that out there, but he's got a million dollar rig. His rig <laughs> cost 1.7 mil, I think, last yeah, time we did the, yeah. the check on it. A little bit more with inflation, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> we wanted to do a challenge. I Here's the challenge. I want old versus new. So it's like big versus little, rich versus poor. New versus not yeah. so old, but yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Oh, it's pretty it's old. A it's 04. That's yeah. like 60, yeah. 17. That's 19 years old. I bought that LJ for like a little over 10 grand on Facebook Marketplace. I've been able to do all the trails today, but seeing the stability of Mike Hernandez's cab, it's like he hasn't been doing any trails all day. Yeah, it's, it's like he's been driving on a highway. Yeah. But that's what $1.7 million will get you with inflation. <laughs> right. It's like rich people problems, man. <laughs> you guys have talked about it like, oh, it must be nice. You can't afford a $100,000 rig. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Technically, Mike Hernandez get that rig for free. It's like yep. he got it all free. You're yep. gifted. But if you're a shill and you support <laughs> the industries, like companies, then that's what you get. Unlike me, who's very poor, and I have... <laughs> I'm a member of the poors, and I don't have the money to invest in a Jeep. Yep. So we'll do two kind of versions of this. Like the budget build on somebody who's like on a budget. Like I'm yep. on a budget. Like we spent a lot of money on that right-hand dra uh, drive Land Cruiser. Yep. Yep. It's expensive. That's not a budget build. This Jeep for sure is yep. a budget build. But it's capable. What can you get away with? So I want to fi figure out a few challenges that we can go at each other uh, for and test old versus new. Are you up to this, man? I am. I'm excited. Challenge one, off-road capability. I already know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Here's the challenge. Mike's gonna pick the line, and I gotta see if I can make it up the line. I'm stock, I will be four-wheel drive low. I will be doing brake throttle modulation because I need the traction to the ground constantly. I have all terrains, like 31s, that are down to 15 PSI. Outside of that, I got nothing. And you're gonna pick the hard line, which I accept, and then I'll see if I could follow your line. Can the poor man's $500 rig follow the million dollar rig? And we shall see, man. We'll, we'll see. I had to offload the kids. Yeah. Because I don't want the dangers of my children Absolutely. being in the rig. That's what a million dollars looks like. Oh crap. Did he really pick that line? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The only problem is this left wheel going right here. This might flip me upside down, but hey man, YOLO. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm two feet into this and I'm already stuck. All right, let me back it up. I, yeah, I think I got up. this. If you I could it? deviate a little bit off the line, just a little bit, because I'm trying to follow your tracks exactly, oh, yeah. but. Yeah, I was way over here. There it goes. There, you go. there it goes, right, right there. Okay. Okay. There you go. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, there goes my wheel. Good, keep going. Keep coming. All right, stop, stop. I don't want you to break a shaft or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I won't wheel hop it, but I, I think I got it. I think you got it. What about if I just come back to the left a little bit? More driver? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. come more driver. How right about there? Yeah, that's good. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I would call it there. I don't want you to break this thing. It's it's pushing You a would lot. call it. You're pushing a lot you of You would call it. That. Hey guys, today's video is actually sponsored by Onyx Off-Road. We use it a lot to navigate all the trails here. What I can do is map out my route, 
save it, and then share it to everybody who's using Onyx Off-Road with details like, you know, here is a dip in the road. Maybe there's an elk herd that I saw. I can snap a picture, enter it in there. Um, but you can see here on my screen, I'm zooming into Moab. And one of the cool parts about this too is you can touch any of the uh, um, trails here, like Rusty Nails pulling up. So it'll show all the atmospherics, you know, that you can get from online, but it'll combine it with like layering systems that show the difficulty, the overall rating. Uh, you can see here, this one is rated an eight out of 10 and it helps you make decisions on maybe I shouldn't take newbies here, or if I do, they need to have, you know, an extremely built out rig. They also gave us a code, it's FCS. You can use it for 20% off. The app really helps us out to make decisions, plan ahead, be prepared. You can download offline maps, layer it, whatever you need. It'll even show you information like wildfire information. So make sure you check them out and we're gonna start the episode today. Yeah, you're gonna come down on the bumper. So just come, you're, you're talking about backing up or are you coming forward? There you go, there you go, there you go. You're almost there. there I think go. I'm good right here. I'm on two wheels, I can fill it. Yeah, just take it all the way out, Re reposition. No, no, dog. <laughs> it must be nice being a corporate shield for Toyo. Hmm. Accepted defeat. Slowly. It's coming down. You're down. There you go. Straighten the wheels out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Not the line, but who's counting? All right, you got it. Cool. I accept my defeat. Although I got it up, it, yeah. it, I couldn't follow your line. Rich people problems, you know what I'm saying? Rich people problems. Next challenge. Damn it. <laughs> challenge two. It's not really, I mean, I guess it's a challenge. You say comfortability, yeah. but it's like utility, your ability to load your stuff out, right? Yeah. yeah, capability can be a lot of things, but absolutely like your specs of a vehicle, gross vehicle weight rating, payload, all that How stuff. How much crap can you put in your rig? Exactly, especially as Safely. an overlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have the ability for five people yep. total, right? You can mm -hmm. fit three in the back. I mean, look, all this crap. <laughs> so are you exceeding the weight? Have you, have you, load, have you weighed so, this? So, I mean, individually, I'm roughly around 700 pounds. So I'm still within the payload limit of the, the truck bed. But if you did a sleep setup, like a camper or whatever, you'd have to get real, like, smart. Aluminum, go-fast campers, Ex GFC. Exactly, exactly. That's how come priority would be, like, on a go-fast, because they're only, you know, 250 pounds. Okay, now, if you look at my rig, this is very Korean of me. <laughs> I recommend you go to Korea or Amazon and buy a Korean mat because it's perfect for sleeping. Dude, you know we all do this, right? Like, have you seen the yeah. Mexican version of this? It's like, oh, yeah. It's like a lion or an eagle. Or it's, yeah. yeah. I love it. This whole challenge, Koreans versus Mexicans, it's, there's so <laughs> many similarities we've discovered. If you're a Jeeper, you would know it. Like, the 23-0 bag for trash, and I have a Rotopack. I have a one-gallon Rotopack in here for external fuel as a, as a backup. But if you look at, like, the overall size of the Jeep, I mean, this thing is small. Yeah. I would say there's plenty of real estate for us. It's lighter. There's an advantage of not, sometimes there's an advantage I realized of not having a lot of capacity. Mm -hmm. Cause the more capacity you have, the more you want to stuff it with shit you don't need. But I'm going to put like a, a two liter Yakima rack yeah. on top to give me a little bit more capacity. But I really don't want it because you end up like, it's like a Mexican jingle truck. <laughs> like you, you wind up putting, it's like a gypsy camp. But you have all the capability yeah. with this. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know, man. I think that's a tie. You know what? I would say that too, especially, especially when we go to conclusion. I'll, I'll elaborate a little more on it, but I agree. I think yeah. it is. What is your horse? What is your horsepower? Uh, so I'm looking at about 230 horsepower on the small V6. Yeah. And about 200 foot pounds of torque. So this is a good challenge because yeah. I have an inline six. You have a V6, but you have a lot of crap. Yeah. So with both of our loads, I don't know. It might be an interesting. It's interesting for sure. What are we thinking? Quarter mile? Yeah. Okay, let's do a quarter that. mile. I'm ready to race. Let's, let's go do this. Next challenge. All right, so the final challenge, it, it's not really about speed, mm. more so than it is power, kind of short distance. But I want to see like distance to distance, which is about a quarter mile, how quick can these things get to where they're going? Well, what's your prediction? Energy. My prediction is that with the modern day setup, I'll, I'll win this one. Really? Yeah. And Even with all the crap you got Even on Even with there? all the crap, yeah. I do have an automatic. It's not sexy. But let's see, I'm interested. Let's let's send you first. All right. Two, one, run. 
Feel that power? A little squirrely. There's no way you would be able to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. A little bit. Not bad. Oh God. <laughs> got us. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. I was gonna sketch you. <laughs> oh, like take, just take my shoes off and walk in the dirt. That test was the most scientific study that we've ever done at Phil Crosser. Purely Survival. scientific study. You obviously won. The second uh, one with the loadout is a tie. Mm -hmm. And then the first one, I don't know, man. I'm gonna call that a tie. I, I think so. I think we're pretty evenly matched, to be honest. And I and I thought I was gonna destroy you the whole time. Like, yeah. you're right, it's pretty yeah. even. Uh, my philosophy on this is sometimes less is more. All right, so it's obvious that I won. Clearly. I mean, the, the bottom line is the LJ defeated you. Like, the ultimate lesson of this <laughs> is I thoroughly enjoy Jeeps, man. Same. Like I, I, the, I was a Jeepster or a Jeep guy or whatever before anything Jeeper? else. And I'll, I'll tell you, like, having gone back to a Jeep, I miss the it's Jeep experience. Yeah. And it's almost not fair because you see Tacomas, 4Runner, all the Toyotas out here. Yeah. And, and it's like they're always having to do something to get by that a Jeep will just do naturally. Truth. And even though Jeep has, you know, it's not the most comfortable vehicle. They're True. super expensive now. True. They've gotten up there in price. Yeah. Man, I, I'm never getting rid of that LJ. I know, yeah. And that's that's the next thing, right? We have your TJ and LJ builds coming up. Maybe we should do a Toyota versus Jeep. That'd be cool. Something or other next. That'd be fun. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get you lunch. Yes. Subscribe, hit the notification tab, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate you guys. Or not. This content's fun for us. Like, we want to get outdoors. We want to encourage you guys to get outdoors. No laws were broken. We were on the confines of all the laws and regulations. And don't try anything we tried at home, which wasn't egregiously dangerous, but just, just don't be that guy. There we go.